Hey, you got a liquid death in there, Sally? In that little cooler? Um, no, I don't get one in the kitchen. Oh, he's going. He's going. Sit down. Thank. Whatever you got. We're rolling, by the way. Oh, jeez. You want to what? start up? Yeah. Rolling. Rolling, rolling. Shall we? Let's try. Eat a cookie on here. You can eat a cookie. Yeah. Eat a Great. cookie. Watch this, this the, is uh, saving my life. The chewing on the mic. Um. See, he sucks you back in. Right. I when know. You start to hate him. <laughs> Just kidding. The Tom Waits. Uh, are we rolling? There we go. All right, let's All right. do it. Hey, hey, folks, here we are. We might be drunk. Woo! We got a hot guest. Going to be back. Joe List, everybody. Hey, I've never heard you say my name. Yeah, it wasn't fun. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, my God. That was yikes. terrible. Holy hell. Sorry. That you got to catch that. I caught man. it on the, the fingers there. Do three taps. Here, throw three. another one. Mix up any carbonated can, three taps, it won't explode. Is that really? true? It's true. Grab it. What do you got that's One, the opposite of my penis? Two, three. Oh, this is water, so it won't explode, will it? That one's not... Oh, is this not carbonated? No, you're good. Oh, this is iced tea. So. Let's test yeah. it. Throw it again. Let's see. Are you on camera? <laughs> All right. Three taps. Three solid ta rhythmic taps. Probably too slow. Like this. All right. Open oh, it up. Sugar more. Woo! Huh? And a little jizz there. A little laugh and learn. Mmm. <laughs> so I missed out on the JFK hotel yesterday. I hear. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, you didn't miss much. <laughs> well, uh, you sit in a pool, you drink. I, I, May, I, I May gotta, said, "Is Sam in?" And I said, "He's out, furiously out." <laughs> I, you know what? I want to be there. I want to be a part of the hang. But y your wife picks. The JFK Hotel? It's crazy. We go to the, the airport hotel? The place we go every week? And the worst airport, by the I way. Know. The furthest one. We sat in traffic. It was it was a beautiful gesture. We had a good time, but the getting there is a nightmare. Were you cab or train it? I Ubered. I drove. But then I took the LIRR back, which is a nice little, little hack. It's the limousine service of uh, public transportation in New York. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, we had some beer. You know, Doug Key's out there. Ruby showed up. We, we had a good group. He ate chicken fingers. We who got to go on an old bailed? plane. Salicuse bailed. Jason Katz bailed. Ari bailed. Hey, wait, should we not put this in? This is yes, bad. Yes, cut this out. Oh, All geez. right. Ari's Sorry, dead. it's a oh, hang. Nice. It feels Ari like... Died. So you're literally you're watching you're you're near planes. This is it's actually a JFK. We're at yes. the airport, and by the way, the pool. First of Did all, you have to go through security. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean at this I point, mean, it seems like maybe you do. Well, I don't. May yeah. searched me, but that was it. <laughs> 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 um, well, first of all, the pool. It was a great hang and a great day, and I love Mark and May. Let's say, yeah. but sure. the pool. That's what I say too. The the pool, when I go swim, I want a pool, like a party pool. I want to run and jump, backflip, yeah. pie, pie dive, or whatever you call it, a pencil you want, dive. You want to picture Stavi Baby jumping in oh. and yells cannonball. Yeah, now the cartwheels. water's out of the pool. Yeah. But this is like a three-foot, you sit and, and talk in the pool, which is fun. But to me, it's like we could sit and talk outside the pool or inside the pool. It's a great idea. If you see the brochure, you go, wow, everybody's having fun. It's like a Heineken commercial, yeah. you know? And then you get up there or you start driving there and you're like, ah, I'm going to the airport. Ah, this is tough. And I feel guilty because all you guys, I'm like, their day is gone. I, I, I had anxiety the whole time. Really? It was also a $100 entry for Sarah and I, 100 bucks, and yeah. then parking was 68 bucks. Oh, my God. I got chicken tenders. Those were 35 bucks. Wow. It's it was a big a 300, day. $300 day. It's a, it's a lady day. Well, I'm, I'm celebrating my next special at the San Jose airport, and I hope you all can make it. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it sounds like a pain in the ass why don't we just do like a steak dinner or something well i think she wants to do a big thing but well, it could be a big thing i agree i love a steak no it was awesome but like all things and this is where i think you got some problems Sam. oh there we go <laughs> <laughs> all things once you're there it's great immediately as yes. soon as you step out of the car into the carpeted Thank hotel you. and it's beautiful you go all that ride is gone right it's just, you're, no, it's fantastic. The hump. You're in the pool. You get to see Doug Key shirtless. Salicus didn't show. That was oh, a bonus. That, that is a bonus. That's... And uh, what, what the hell is that thing? That is a pomegranate lemonade. You don't know who you're oh. talking to here. Gateway. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Pomegranate lemonade. Is virgin? Yeah. I mean, Great. Yeah. Uh, Both. But um, pregnant. Uh, but it ended up being mm. unbelievably Cheers. fun. Can we still toast non-alcoholic? That's that okay? delightful. Yeah, of course. All right. Bad luck. 
What do you think of this, by the way? Oh, mm. it's very good. Tell me when mm. the pet peeve thing happens. That's Hit all me. I got. We can go whenever. It's pet a loosey peeve. goose. Peeves. I was just uh, at a hang. I don't want to name names. At a hang, seven, eight people. And is this? Am I just? Is this just Boston Irish alcoholic asshole behavior? Or are you mm. with me here? Hit me. Daddy. You always support me. You're a wild card. There's like seven of us. <laughs> <laughs> At the table, two people order drinks, like co- the same cocktail, one of these bullshits, but with vodka. Okay. And they go like this. Cheers to us. And then they toast. Do you find it obnoxious for mm. two out of seven people to toast? Because to me, that's like a fucking yes. insult, insane. You Absolutely. toast everybody. You not, toast yeah. everybody. We got the same drink. <laughs> right. What, also, what am I, also, asshole? Cheers to us. Like yeah, that's, that's Deuce City right there. You that's can't awful. do that. That's like throwing your own party. Yeah. TWA. At, at JFK. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but, I, before we even go into that, I, yeah, I, I apologize for not being there. Joe's no. right. I am. I did get an oven delivered yesterday. I need to be there for the oven. Uh, but, uh, Jews no, with the it's not, That's not why okay. I got it. To, God <laughs> damn it, Mark. Sorry. It's not Holocaust related. I need to cook. Ah. Uh, but uh, no, I think Joe is right. I, I think it's an, you toast everyone. And for the record, except for Salacuse, everyone else. There yeah, you go. Everyone who's important here. Cookie. Yeah. Well, Salacuse is too busy shaking with that camera hold. Oh, <laughs> Michael J. <laughs> Can't help it. But yeah, I get that. It's a little. Uh, y- you're clicking now. It's a click on a click. Well, you just feel like, well, what the fuck? Yeah, we're not, we're not toast worthy. Right. Toast to everybody. And you're already you're already uh, causing a infighting in the group. You guys are over here now. Yeah, you guys are. Well, I, I, I don't want to share my story. You guys talk. And right. We'll be over here. Right. A toast to no one or everyone. Yes. That's the rule. Thank you. Good T-shirt. That's the whole thing. You get up there. It's like the Pearl Jam a- album. Do you guys have any go-to cheers things, words you say before? Well, it's funny. You have Tom Waits here. Champagne for my real friends, real pain for my sham friends. It's a classic. Ooh, he was good. Yeah. He had a couple. I did one time. I was in a Baltimore post show, and as, as a joke, it was Magoobies at the bar. They had that little, right when they built that whiskey bar. Mm-hmm. And I, as a joke, go, to Hitler's good ideas. And it gets a <laughs> laugh from the people around me. And then there's a skinhead at the end of the bar who goes, he does have good ideas. No. What? And I was like, ah, oh, crap. That really backfired on me. Oh, wow. my God. Those Timonium skinheads. <laughs> what were the good ideas? I don't know. Out of curiosity. Saying, well, the Autobahn. That's yeah. not bad. Oh, that was him? Oh, right. That is, Okay. Yeah. The Volkswagen, which is the people's car, Volkswagen. Ah. And uh, Aryan Purity. There we go. There the, you go. Um, the outfits Solid. were very good. Hugo Boss. Yeah. Well, that's, good. they manufactured them. And they didn't have any, they got no blowback for it. Usually, he was like a small, he got, I think he, the Hugo Boss manufacturer got, it was, uh, the kids inherited it years later, and then he just, uh, his fee was not for manufacturing Nazi uniforms, but for slavery. Ah. He was enslaving employees. Oh, wow. Yeah. I had just found out that Schwarzenegger's dad was a Nazi. I never knew that. Yeah, they I missed out on that. They gloss over And uh, Gibson's dad's a Holocaust denier. Kirk Gibson? Oh. <laughs> Dodger's great, Kirk Gibson. <laughs> Who Gibson? What Gibson? Mel. Guitar. Oh, Mel, yeah. Oh, Mel Gibson. Oh, yeah. I thought you were fucking with me. No, I literally went straight to Kirk Gibson. <laughs> And then I thought Debbie Gibson. Mel is the oh, third yeah. Gibson that comes into my head. I think we're alone now. We're yes. getting put in the oven because we are Jews now. There you go. Not bad. That's a number one. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I mean, it, it rubbed off. He had those rants. Yeah. Bell. Not but Kirk. Schwarzenegger. Mel's huh. uh, had a Jewish name too, right? Mel? Mel Brooks. Mel yeah. Blank. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about well, Mel he Blank. He was a Jew. Yeah, Mel Blank was Okay. Bugs Boy, Blank. Jews had some killer comedy back in the day yeah. they're over now but uh you know it's like <laughs> but like sid caesar all that was all carl reiner it's all jews you yeah, know yeah, neil jews. simon crazy yeah. woody allen it was just bam mark, bam mark bam. twain <laughs> yeah <laughs> i just don't know what jews are chris rock yeah um, <laughs> um, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Quinn. um yeah the jews how do you not like jews of all the groups i know my hero larry david get out of here yeah not sandman jews. By the way, Sandler was at the strip the other night. I heard. Yeah, his daughter did a thing. Really? Yeah, so he brought her up, and he played guitar behind her. Damn, dude. Yeah, the comic strip, That's. I mean, that was my home club for so long. You guys never really did the strip. I did for a minute when it was the junior. What's his? Richie, Richie Jr. Jr. Oh, yeah, I had my yeah. own show there. 
Yeah. Uh, for a little Holy bit. Shit, that's yeah, right. I had a, oh, I had a, yeah. I had a time where I was at the strip. I used to take the bus from Stand Up New York to the comic strip, and I always felt like I was hustling when you take the bus across the park. Yes. Like, I am the comic now. That's a nice bus, too. You just go through Central Park. It's kind of a nice... Totally. You know. Absolutely. Yeah, you cut through, you go under that little bridge. It's great. And you, it's Upper Manhattan, which was crust, upper crust. That club was great. Great club. Yeah, well, it used to be the hang. When I, I'm, I'm 78 years old, and I started 14 years before you. It right. shows in our level of success. But <laughs> the strip, when I first started coming down here. We were plugging your fucking special. Yeah, the special's great. Check it out on YouTube. Let's yes. get a couple thousand views. I'll, there you go. Then I'll wrap it up, take my own yeah. life. But back, I used to come down in like 2000, 2001, 2002 with this guy, Ed Regal, and the strip was the spot yeah. they had the booths and that's yes. where you went nobody hung at the cellar there was like those eight or nine guys would be there but like all the other comics and then at one point they ripped out the booths they literally were like we don't want comics hanging out here and they got rid of free drinks they yes. took out the booths free drinks and that's what gnome is so great at understanding is you have to the comics are the most important you have exactly. to make the comics want to be there remember those christmas parties i mean i was poor i was some brooklyn queef you know doing the creek in the cave and then i'd come meet you come to the christmas party it was spreads of food, buffet style, potluck, fried chicken, yeah. lasagna. And then you remember you saw Angry Bob. You're like, whoa, Angry Bob. Oh, there's Eric I. Boy, I'm really rubbing elbows here. <laughs> and then uh, the free drinks. My God. Well, I mean, I, I remember. And then at the end, they would always do like the most bitter comic would always give a speech. <laughs> and be some really? guy who he'd be like, he'd be like, man, this is a historic club. You know, I don't get spots here anymore. And yeah. he'd just be like, <laughs> That's so all true. right. Yeah. Uh, and then I remember, you know, Richie Tinkin, who ran the club, had, a, you know, a vocal problem from cancer and uh i remember vic henley did a sketch where he was just like hey, 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 hey. like he would talk like that <laughs> and i was like this is uncomfortable because oh, i was yeah. right next to him i was like do you laugh or do you? probably not oh yeah but it's kind of funny richie Dickin, famously eddie murphy's first manager and producer of delirious that's right yeah they had they have all the pictures and that's what they would tell you when you were a young comic yes right? see this picture it's me and eddie murphy they left out that he left them 35 years ago right right but at the time you were like fuck eddie murphy but I mean, I hope it never closes because you know a lot of you know, danger fields close and places close. But this place, it's a museum. I mean, yeah. it's like Seinfeld's first uh, open mic ticket is on there, and yeah. Sa Young Sandler and Eddie the Murphy. Headshots are beautiful. Beautiful. Like, like yeah. that wall. I also remember Mackie and I were there one night, and there was a con there was a guy in the wall. Forgot his name. Heavy set guy with a beard, and we're just like laughing. We're like, look at that headshot, and we're like, we're like, who's this guy? And the Booker Jr. comes over, and he goes, uh, he goes, that is not a comedian. That was the guy who would deliver the cash, and uh, some guy followed him one night and executed him. <laughs> wow. And we're like, well, it's still a funny headshot. You got to yeah, give us that. You know, it's, it's a good uh, headshot. <laughs> you know what famous comedian was the bartender there? Colin uh, Quinn. That's right. Oh yeah, old CQ Colin was Quinn the bartender wow. back in like early '80s. Wow. You know, it's funny. I have one of Rock's old. Albums is CD and it says funny white guys and it's Jerry Seinfeld and Colin Quinn. Yeah, <laughs> funny white guys. It was a different time. I love that. But yeah, wow, CQ. Going back to the Jews real quick. I was just on vacation with uh, Sarah's family and Sarah's mom. We we're all hanging. She goes, uh, you know, Jewish people they're just easier to get along with. And like we all did spit takes. Like everybody at once was like, what? She's like, they're laid back. They're just really they're easy to back. get along with. Hilarious. And I just pictured you with the text being like, we're all going to the airport for Mark's hang. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he's easy like Sunday morning, this guy. Uh, <laughs> great hang. You got you to gotta open up a little bit. I, I went on a vacation hangs. this year. He went to Greece. Yeah, that was big. Yeah. Octopi. Yeah. Right? That's a I do stuff. Octopus. We hung in Montreal. We had good hangs. We had a great hang. Oh, man. We did a... a Sam had, had me on his uh, show. It's a big theater show. Oh, yeah. That's and not a hang. That's a show. But keep going. <laughs> well, we, we potted all day. We spent the day together. We, yeah. we, we went Podcast, to dinner. Got it. We had yeah. dinner. <laughs> Dinner's something. Now we're we, getting Oh, yeah, somewhere. we got dinner. Joe Beef. We got Joe Beef. Hey, it's Joe like Beef. a big Montreal and Mark orders the classic. Fun. Mark's looking at my steak. He goes, damn, that looks good. I'm like, yeah, you ordered a halibut at a steak place? I couldn't. I panicked with the menu. I couldn't decide. It looked good, but it was no steak. Well, I ate some of Joanne's. You but either way. You a knife fight. But, uh, <laughs> Either way, we go do a Sam show. It's sold out. Great theater. He goes, you want to do 10? Fun fun fact. Uh, fun Get to times. stand, you know, when he comes out, people are going nuts. Because they didn't great. expect to see Mark. So yeah. there's a line there, and people are seeing Mark. And they're like, holy shit, Mark. Super cool. Ian Lara opened. And then uh, we Killed. do a little bumping mics thing at the end. And uh, it was fun. Ian Lara, we're all having a good time. 
you know, kind of starts to, all right, well, we got to wrap this thing up. Brad Williams pops out. It was a gift. And when you can't think of something to say and a, and a midget comes out with a microphone, it is rejuvenated. I mean, it's like a gift from the comedy gods. Two and a half men. Yeah. <laughs> I did the same joke on Tuesdays, but whatever. It's, they can hear gift. it twice. It's a gift when you're running out of steam and a little person comes out. Not just for us, but the audience. Like, no one's not happy to see a little person. No. They no. walk in, everyone's like, yeah. Yes, exactly. Maybe Willy Wonka. He had some beef with a few of them. But yeah, by the way, they got rid of the uh, the dwarves in Snow White in the yeah. new movie. So it's just Snow White? Well, there's one one CGI dwarf of Hugh Grant. Really? They took a job away from seven dwarves and they gave it to a CGI? So the dwarves are picketing. They gave it to a handsome leading man? Yes, who's of, of average height. Can anybody see the signs? <laughs> no, no. It's just the top of them, out the window. Wow. I know. It's tough. Poor kids. Well, it's a shame, but these uh, these midgets, they get no love. Oh, is it Willy Wonka, not Snow White? Sorry. Thank you. So what's Snow White doing? Well, it's Timothy Chalamet. He's got to be pretty short to begin with, so you got to find a uh, really tiny little person. Yeah. You know I mean? Get some yeah. children in there. Maybe Veter. <laughs> Gary yeah. would work. Hey, Mark, what's that joke about? Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Mulaney's got that great joke. He's like, uh, he's like, you can't say midget. It's like saying the N-word. He goes, we're saying midget. You know? <laughs> it's a little different. Right. And he's like, if you say midget, you're going to have 400 little people running around this uh, building screaming. He goes, you promise? <laughs> it's a great bit. That's great. Yeah, yeah. But just tough to be a little guy these days. Peter Dinklage, he got the last role. Yeah, well, Ian Laura on stage after we were we were arguing over that word, Ian Laura on stage called he described himself as a midget n word. Yes, H- huge pop in the theater. <laughs> when I said it, it got nothing. But, uh, <laughs> Ian Laura's a sexy guy. He's oh, cute. He's yeah. just like cute, adorable. Yeah, I think sexy, but yeah. you can downgrade it to cute. Well, I think he could be both. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, he's both. Let's see him. Like kids. He's cute and sexy. Yeah, he's always well kept. He's got a necklace on for some reason. That's, oh, I didn't think that was, I thought that was Idris Elba, which you're right. He is sexy. Yeah, he's, he's a, a beautiful man. Idris. He's got style. He likes us. That's yeah. something. He does like oh, us. Look at, that's me and him. And Todd Barry. Oh, wow. Now there's a hang. Look at that. I disagree. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a good, he, he opened, he killed up top. He was great. Uh, it was funny. It was like a, a bit up there. It was a, a black guy, a Jew, and a midget walking to a bar, you know, <laughs> walking to a comedy theater. It was fun. I mean, I was not loving the crowd until I brought you guys. I mean, I, they were laughing, but they were so drunk. Yeah. I was, like, was kind of like, let me mix this up. You yeah, know? You, you had a guy in the front row who was really Just chirping. annoying as fuck. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't stop. He did the thing where he, didn't he give you a shot? I took one. Yeah, Cause I, cause there you Usually go. that'll stop him if you're like, I'll give you one. But then, yeah, after that point. I mean, I was in Montreal for three days. I was drunk the entire time. I yeah. don't know. You got the hell out of there. At one well, point, I turn around. I'm like, where's Sam? And James is like, he got on a flight. He's like, I, he's gone. I did one lap around that industry party, oh. and I changed my flight from 2 p.m. to 10 a.m. I was like, get <laughs> wow. me the fuck out of here. Literally, Brutal. literally bookers whose texts I don't answer yes. cornering me. It's never the people. You never get the hang you want. I got Norman for most of the day, but then you, know, you get to that party, and it's literally... Just people cornering you who you're like, fuck, get I know. Right. Well, that's the problem with parties. You want a, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? A uh, click? A planned hang? A, uh, uh, at an airport far away? Word? Like a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to be at an airport hotel on a Tuesday. Right. <laughs> which was fantastic. But it was fun. Yeah, you want to curate it. A curated, curated. hang. You want to curate the hang. Yes. Well, one of the proudest moments of my life was uh, we were at Moon Tower, all hanging out late. It was like me, Big J. Come on. All right. There's another one. Take. Oh, there is? You ate both. Did I eat both? Yeah, you pig. Are you serious? God almighty. You had a hell of a metabolism. I feel like you eat like shit. No, you hit a cookie. I didn't hit it. What am I hiding cookies on? I didn't there? Eat two chocolate chip video. cookies. You got to be kidding. <laughs> hit a cookie. I'm not Play that it back. Good. What am I, a pickpocket? <laughs> All right, let me take this. Sounds, <laughs> sounds like a fight like on Lizzo's tour right I'm now. starving. <laughs> Where's my a, damn cookies? I hit it in my vagina. There you go. <laughs> hey, all right, I got a there morsel. Go. We got a morsel. Well, I feel like you eat like shit. And you're you're very thin. I still. do. I run a lot. I do you a run. lot of push ups. I don't have a I'm not missing discs from my back at twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I do yoga. I'm I'm doing stuff. Compact disc. Um but I eat some shit and some good. There you go. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what were we talking about? 
I had something. You had curated something. hang. Hang party bag. Oh, curated. Moon Tower. Moon Tower. We're on Moon Tower. It was, it was me and Ari and Sarah and Chrissy D. You were there. You didn't come. But we all, everyone, there was a big party. And we were like, the industry party were like, we're already hanging. Why don't we go down to the river? Oh, Supposedly you came and looked for us at like 1 a.m. I did. I couldn't find you. But we were like, let's just go down to the river and hang out. People love when you have cookie in your mouth and tell a story. Sure. Uh, this, again. this is the most Jewish I've ever been, telling a story with food in my mouth. <laughs> Portions are very small. Um, so we all went down there. We skipped out on the party. You had to go, ironically, you had to go say goodbye to Brad Williams. You're like, well, Brad Williams is over there. Ah, I told him I'd meet him. Small world. And then you're like, oh. you're like, I'll meet you by the river. And we were all like, he ain't coming back. But we walked around. There. It was like a Linklater film. We skipped out on the party and just hung with each other. And that's why my uh, career is where it's at. But. Um, I hate the industry. The problem with these industry parties is I went and I and you, I ended up having to get hammered just to deal with it because you walk two feet and somebody goes, "Hey, Norman, I used to manage you in 1985. We did a comedy joint out there in Wuhan." And you're like, "Wait, what? Okay." Then you're like, "Good to see you." And you get away, and then they go, "Hey, Norman, what are you doing? We did this. How's your special go? How's that?" And you're like, "I can't do it again. I just did the same cookie cutter conversation 12 cookie. feet away." And it's always the people. Where it's like, "I managed you. I." Uh, I ripped you off on a bunch of deals. Yes, yes. I tried to molest your girlfriend. Right, and you're right. like, cool. And you're like, well, it's great to see you. Yeah. It's great to catch up. Barry Katz was floating around that oh, thing like the Grim God. Reaper. There's no feet moving. It's just He's just floating through the party. And you see that nose and the face. And you're like, ah, Katz is coming. He's like a yeah. scarecrow, but for comedians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, look, it's because uh, it's you don't have a relationship with all these people. They're just like, we got to get you back. Yes. And you're like, oh, I'd love to come back. And like, okay. And you're like, all right. Yeah. And the worst part of talking to someone is the small talk, and it's just small talk. And then you get away. Small talk. Get away. You can never have a real thing. That's why you got to curate. Yeah. Curate is big. But yeah, then you see your friends over there. And I always feel yes. like everyone else got into a good circle yes. somehow. Yeah. I look over, I see like Chris D, Giannis, and uh, Ian Lara all high five. Like this. <laughs> yes. And the other one's, he's like doing that. And I, I'm stuck with, uh, you know, bleepity blop. Right. Going, right. I know, I'd love to come back. I know, wow, the tickets. Yeah, it's hard. But you know, I'm on Instagram now. Yeah. You want to print out a card that says, like, special's going great. I'm good. Yeah, I got married. Still in New York. I leave tomorrow. Because they always go, how long are you here till? You know, you just want to, it's all the same questions. You just want to hand them the card and walk away. Yeah. I feel bad. They're all going to see this. And... Well. No, some of them were good. And we won't say who. Yeah. yeah. Keep it ambiguous. Because I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> Looks well, good on you. <laughs> <laughs> good teacher. Really seems to care. Uh, <laughs> hey, nice. So we, uh, Norman and I did, we had dinner with Ann Harris and Joanne. They're great. That was fun. Great. Like, Frosted they were, Flakes. They were great. They get and it. And Ben, also from Netflix. So that was, they, we had a fun dinner. It was a good time. But uh, yeah, I mean, shit. That was. But again, curated. Curated. That was picked out a spot. It's just us. Wait, Frosted Flakes. I said they're great. Oh, yeah. I see. Mm. Got it. Got it. I should have done there. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah. So it's the great that's accentuated. It's a couple of R's in there. Right. Like, uh, like my last school. <laughs> yeah. A couple of R's in there. But, yeah. Oh, jeez. But, yeah, Montreal was great. And it's nice going back there with a little juice. Like, you're selling out a theater. I was doing some some bullshit show for Meta. And that was tough. That you show. had a thing. Because I bumped yeah. into New Faces, and they're all... They're like Salakus with a camera. They're all shaking in their boots, and they're nervous. And They're out of focus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that sucks. Over here. Huh? What's that? Catching a lot of strays over here. <laughs> sorry, Feeling sorry. They're not strays. They're direct. <laughs> <laughs> These are direct shots right at you. Woo. I'm worried about your mental health. Can I just uh -oh. digress for a sure. second? Put yeah. the camera on him. Do we have a camera on him? Okay. <laughs> well, why are you worried? Well, the, he keeps, the other day, first of all, we we're shooting a sketch at our podcast studio. And I said, this is a crazy question. I don't know the address of our studio. Can you give me the address? <laughs> and then Salak, because you know you don't know, the, you just know how to go places. Yeah. You don't know the address here. Sure. You just know how to get here. You know the building. So I reckon, can you give me the address? And he goes, okay, it's 789 Fifth Avenue, but it's not on Fifth Avenue. It's between Second and Boo Boo Boo. And then you got to walk up. There's an elevator, 17th floor. You take a walk. I'm like, yeah, I know that. I work there. It's my <laughs> office. Right, right. And then you send, you show me photos. You're like, these are for your eyes only. Meanwhile, everyone up talk to you has seen these photos you? you're like you? you're like these are for your eyes well, now only. i feel left out what the hell 
<laughs> oh, they're tasteful nudes of Mark and I blowing each other. But Very how would that be tasteful? Nudes of his child that he shows people. Yes, there you go. <laughs> He's like, yeah, don't, your eyes only don't show anybody. And then like 10 hours later, I get a text, your eyes only don't show anybody. I'm like, you show? have you gone mental? I showed these to me yesterday. <laughs> what, what kind of photos are these? Uh, we did a photo shoot together. It's coming out next month. Oh, and okay. I didn't want to scoop the magazine by like getting it out there. <laughs> I'd show you. But, but they're beautiful. For our zone. But yes. <laughs> it was just like the same photo and sentence two days in a row. I'm like, we had this talk. Are you okay? Well, actually, no. Oh, oh Jesus. Is this yeah, going to get little, serious? A little unhinged. No, no, it's not serious. Oh, oh God. I, I would have felt horrible if you just came today. out with Alzheimer's. You were jury duty? I had jury duty today. I thought you were going to say you're dying. What the fuck? Jury duty is pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. So All I was right. trying to figure out how to get out of it. Uh huh. I'm a bit unhinged, so I wore this shirt. Let's New see. Jack City? My New Jack City shirt. My Racist. Like, what are you doing? No, well, no. She was, I was like, no, this is like, shows that I'm... <laughs> this, guy, this guy likes Wesley Snipes. Get him out of here. Yeah. I'm pro-crime, that I'm like oh. rooting for the bad guy. Yeah. I thought oh. it sent a subtle message. Ugh. Nobody got You're it. You're giving them too much credit to these people. You know what the, the fucking people. clientele? <laughs> like, well, the government people, oh. you know? They're not going to sit there and read your shirt. You know, some guy's got no fat chicks. He's, he's walking in. He's going to do, do a whole murder case. You're fine. All right. Yeah. New Jack City. But I worry I'm about you. <laughs> Why is there stress? <laughs> well, jury duty stressed me out because I have the pot. I've got two shoots this week, and I didn't want to sit in a jury and miss this and that. Well, we're glad to have you. And he gave you cookies. Yeah. I, oh, I'm thrilled about the cookies. I'm not worried about you being an asshole. I'm worried about your well, you, brain being you mush. Got, you got my head because uh, I've been taking these weed gummies, and they help me sleep. I sleep like a baby. I finally found a cure for sleep, and then Sal is like, you got to stop taking those. It'll It'll kill your recall. And I was like, what? Oh, my recall is a little... Yeah. Wait, so you gave him drugs and then told no, no, him no, not no, to take the drugs? I would take the like, fans. I take them from fans. But... Uh, you got to stop doing that. I stopped. But he's talking about the recall thing, and you want to you be a comedian, you want to work on your act. All so you have is your brain. That's all I got. Yeah. So I, dro I dropped him, but I'm not sleeping well again. You should give me your girlfriend. She'll... You know, your wife. Yeah. <laughs> that was my attempt at a joke there. <laughs> she'll stop bringing shit up. All right, never mind. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. She'll, you, she'll forget everything. Your forgetfulness is more running around, which that was also fun with The Hang, by the way, because I'm like texting everyone, like, you go into The Hang? I'm like, no, Mark's podcasting on Tuesday. <laughs> and I had to be like, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> and I had it with three different people. <laughs> everyone's like, we're going to the TWA. Like, Let's can you do, do the a podcast? different hang. Let's do like a steakhouse or, a, you know. A, and, uh, and we don't even have to hang. but we uh, Don't do it for me. Let's just hang to hang. That's what I mean. I, okay, I want to set hang. up a hang. He may not show. I can't have it on me. Was, was any like, was any part of you annoyed that you had to go all the way out for the hang? Of course. Every part. Hey, every part, yeah. I, I had, If I wasn't married. Did you scold her for it? Were you like, I gave her a little shit in the cab on the way there, and I could see it was hurting her, and I, I pulled back. <laughs> She's like, we're throwing a party for you. You take out your credit card, $120 <laughs> cab. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I slid him uh, valet money. I felt so guilty. I was like, take this cash. Yeah, let me know when you hit that cover charge money. Oh, I got you. Okay. Are you supposed to Venmo you? Oh, Jesus. I don't know what to say. Spending mostly your money? No, Whoa. it's her money. It's her money. Well, this is getting weird. I know. Right, now, right, now, come just, on. now we're just she attacking. She did a nice thing. Now she we're just attacking a woman yes, here. Yes, attacking <laughs> a woman. And it, was, and it was fantastic. You two fucking dorks didn't show. <laughs> well, he was busy coming up with t shirt ideas for jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> we're all busy, you know? The hang was killer. Over here. <laughs> Great fun. Although I did think we were going to the Hamptons for a couple of days, but whatever. Really? He, la yeah. he laid out his shirts, Boys in the Hood, New Jack City. <laughs> One of these is going to work. I swear to God. Uh, Woo, white chicks, whatever you got. <laughs> no, who's that? You gotta, you, I want to see you hanging out more. Let's hang. I never see you. But here's no, the problem: he a... if he was there, he wouldn't enjoy it. The hang. No. It's hard for me. The travel. You could have bounce bits if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could write that I, off. I, we used to go to like John's Pizza. We guys, we used to do oh, stuff. Yeah. We, we to... did a hang recently. We set it. I, I set it up. We went. We ended up going to what's it called? Another East Village. That was like a couple months Where? ago. Was I there? Yeah, it was the three of us. Where'd we yep. go? I was there too. I mean, I'm worried about everybody's mental health. Well, tell me where we went. Where'd we go? Where we go? We He's tried forgetful. to go to fucking whatever place, and it was closed. Remember, it was raining. We went to okay. Smith's. Smith's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we went there. We now. did that. And yeah, then, we got to uh, do that more. We tried. I, we wanted to do steak, and you were like, I can't eat a steak at noon or whatever bullshit. <laughs> I'm, a night, I'm a nighttime steak eater. Yeah, all right. Well... I like a cold lunch. I was like, hey, I was like, boys, we're doing pretty well now. We're pretty successful. Let's go get some steaks. And you were like, yeah, I want to go to a deli. <laughs> like, all right. I like a good Jewish deli lunch. Um, I like a Jewish deli. 
Let's do more hangs. I'm open to the more hangs. There we go. The more hangs. I, I'm having a kid soon, so that'll really spice up our hangs. Yeah. Really. Yes, bring the fetus. I'll be a lot more available to hang out once I have this baby. That's yeah. how it usually works. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he makes it work. Uh, you haven't seen your child in weeks. Yeah. Yeah. His kid's like 17 or 18, right? He's yeah. Eight. Yeah. No, he's eight. Whatever. Good age. Oh. Is he available? <laughs> <laughs> Has he, he's got a girlfriend, right? No. No. Oh. A Boy- girlfriend. No. Oh, okay. All right. We'll move on. You like being a father? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I had a crazy experience with him on Sunday. I was walking back from the library, and uh, this uh, guy was shirtless and talking to the cops. And uh, Burke Kreischer? <laughs> and the cops sort of like, left him alone, and he looks at me. He's like, you know what? God bless you and your son. I was like, oh, thanks. And I was like, what was it with the cops? He was like, they were checking on me. I was like, okay, you all right? And he was like... You know, I was pretty bad yesterday. You know, I was going to kill myself. And well, last week I was in rough shape. I'll tell you. <laughs> I was going to kill myself. And I was like, well, I'm glad, you know, you settled it. And he was like, yeah, you know, you and your son, God bless you guys. You know, I don't have any relationship with my father. And I was hey, like, well, it's never, I was like, well, it's never too late. And wow. he was like, no, no, no. My father tried to slit my mother's throat. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. Yikes. And I was like, all right, well, you have to turn around with him, but you can get your life better in a good place. And he's like, all right, man, God bless you. And I walked away and Charlie looks at me. He's like, I don't like it when you talk to people. <laughs> wow. That would be me. I'm like, what are you, crazy? Yeah, smart kid. Yeah, you're a native New Yorker. You engage in that long a conversation with a shirtless guy getting arrested? Well, he had a Fisher for a light. t-shirt on. So the guy was very friendly to him. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's one where you say, thank you. And you keep going. Right. Yeah. Well, Matt loves to talk to crazy. We went out shooting photography one time, and I'm like, he's like, I want to shoot photos of buildings and plants and bushes and whatever. And he's like, no, we're going to shoot people. And I'm like, I can't shoot. That's crazy. They love that. They're going to kill us. And he goes, no, it's no problem. I've never had an issue at all. And I'm like, okay, if you say so. And then he goes, and hold on to this. And he hands me a can of maize. Uh, He's like, you need to have this. I'm like, what what happened to nobody gives a shit? (laughs) And by the way, I'm getting a costume without a camera. Right. And he's got a knife on him already. So he's good. You're not using that knife. I have it. I mean, it's here. But are you really going to stab someone? If if he has to. If he has to, I'll use it. No, I think it's just a good like way to get people to move backwards. There you go. Yeah, but what if they don't move backwards? Then I'm in a knife fight. Yeah. yeah. But you're also introducing a weapon into the fight. But he's the victim. Yeah, Not you gotta be the, the victim when the guy know. takes the knife from you. Well, well, it's pretty hard to get close to me with a knife. I have a knife, you're not going to get close, right? Especially if you're wearing your Crocodile Dundee shirt. <laughs> you call that a knife. You gotta wear a Scream 2 shirt. You know, hold that knife <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you know what I city. saw in the theater yes two days ago at Film Forum, one of one of the best movies ever, Double Indemnity. Have you seen that? Of course. Oh, wow. yeah. Fucking so cool to see on the big screen. Film Forum, that's a wreck. Go to the Film Forum. Keep that place going. That, that's on Film Houston, Forum is huh? awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Great yeah. Spot. Billy Wilder Fest. At oh the, yeah. Uh, at the Film Forum, so they're showing they're showing all his shit. I love all the right. Film Forum. We went and saw. Uh, I saw Goodfellas there, and then I saw. Uh, what the hell is it called? Blue Collar. You know that movie? I've never Blue seen this. Paul Schrader, right? Paul Schrader. It's Richard Pryor oh. and Harvey Keitel. And evidently they hated each other. And Yafet yeah. Koda. Yeah. You saw it there? Yeah. I went with oh, wow. Ryan Hamilton. Oh, yeah. no kidding. Yeah, the ham How about that? Did we talk about this? No. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, you guys could have linked up. Yeah. How about that? Let's start with Isabel Hagen. That's a good group. Mm, good group. Four. He was too busy cutting somebody up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's it, guys. We're going to run. <laughs> Any more cookies? All right. Uh, do you guys want to do uh, more peeves or a news story? Oh, yeah. You got a peeve? I don't think you did yours. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I, I, give me a second to come up with a peeve. I got some. I know. I had short. one yesterday. And Joey, I working it. on any bits? Um, like that are half cooked? I had another peeve that I forgot about. Is this anything as a, as a peeve? I... I had a, you know, these this TWA, you get a, uh, there's a limited amount of deck chairs or what do you call those? Like tanning chairs, mm-hmm. you know, those things. And they're going fast. So <laughs> I threw a towel on one just to preserve it. So I got one. I got a towel on one. The lady's got a towel on hers. And I jump in the pool. You get out, the wind is kicking up. So I grab my towel. I put it over me to dry off a little bit. I hit the bar and I come back as a guy on my seat and I go, Hey, whoa, that's my seat. And he goes, there was nothing on it. And I go, I've, I've, been, I've been laying there. And he was like, there's nothing on it. So now we're in a Mexican standoff. Now what do you do here? Well, you Is had he nothing right? On, did you have nothing on it? I had all my shit right next to it, hmm. but nothing on it. I next think you got to put stuff on it. 
Uh, but next to it, how close next to it are we talking? Directly. Direct that's, next. If this is the seat, all my shit was right there. I think I think that's your seat. Okay. How long? But I was there, and that bartender was awfully slow. Yeah. How long are you at the bar for? Seven minutes. And the, Seven minutes? And the lady's next to the... She's in her seat. Hmm. So well, now she, he's next to the say, lady. She didn't say anything to... She was drunk. She passed said, out. She's a black She said, guy. hey, it's 50 bucks a person for this party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're dating now. <laughs> uh, her and that guy. But, yeah, I got the seat. I pushed, and I got the seat, but mm. uh, it wasn't pretty. Yeah, it's tricky. It remind, it's, I just want to digress for a moment. Please. It reminds me of... Uh, I, want, I want to come back around. I don't want to just be like, enough of that. But... It's similar to the people at Starbucks. Do you think you have to go or coffee shop? Do you have to go get your coffee before you claim a seat? Or can you claim a seat and then go get the mm, coffee? Because yes. people are divided on that. I the, think it's very similar. The age-old question. Because you have the seat. You left it. But seven minutes. That I bartender think is slow. If you're there alone, you got to get the coffee. But, but if you're there with another person, they Oh, you, that's pretty good. Right. But some people are even against that. Hmm. Yeah, seat saving is a real prickly subject it's tricky new york's a nightmare but how many seats were available outside of that seat mm, two okay and he was with a he was with a wife i wonder if he was trying to put the moves on uh your lady yeah well she gives out that vibe that she's available <laughs> Whoa. so it's tough <laughs> but yeah, i got the seat but it, it was it was a fight yeah, I can see both sides. I want to. I want to be on your side because uh, you always got my back there. I appreciate but, uh, it. So whichever side you're presenting, I'll I'll be on. All that. right. But well, I, I want, I'd like an honest answer. Whatever you really think. But yeah, gone seven minutes. Nothing on the seat. That's a tough. But the girlfriend's right there in there. But maybe you thought it was her stuff. True. True. Yeah, she, and they're married. True. <laughs> you missed it. She could have piped up. I guess. Mm, man, she's really screwing up this day, huh? <laughs> she's rough. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I know. I almost. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, here we go. Is this free, Matt? All right. We're getting the hang of it. I can't wait anymore. I'm going to miss the beginning. Well, we'll take these seats. Well, would you please remove your stuff? No, no, they'll be here. But I am here. They are not. They're coming. George, listen, run over to the Paragon and give Kramer the two tickets. So sexy. She's got a point. Who? Elaine. Okay. Yeah. So you're with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're taken. But Elaine spoke up. Unlike my fucking... But also... <laughs> Arnold, who are, Benedict Arnold. Who are these people? Who are these people <laughs> that walk up to a seat and someone says, hey, that's my seat, and they go, no, it's not. I would be like, oh, geez, all right. That's that's what I would think, too. I would but, do the same thing. Wait, but he's already seated in it. Yeah. When you get back. He this was had tricky, like a, this is actually a tricky. It's pee. a tricky one. He had yeah. a butt cheek on it. He was like getting ready to to get comfortable. Oh, oh. so you caught him in motion? Yes, I went up, 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 up. But he, his, his fucking taint hit it, and then he got up. Big guy, older. I couldn't mm. take him. Mm. Big, bigger than me, but older. Did Much he have a older. knife? <laughs> what was his t-shirt? He had <laughs> <laughs> he had mace. <laughs> um, but yeah, he got up. I think I scared him a little. I think if you catch him in the motion, that's fair. All right, we got before, motion. Before before he get, once he gets settled and he's in there, like, but if you catch yeah. him in the motion, well, this goes back to the reclining on a plane fight. This mm. this is divided nations. Yeah, where do you stand on that? I say the seat reclines. I'm reclining. Mm. I get I use the options the seat gives me. If the airline says it reclines, then I'm reclining. I always check. I, I just, I just hate myself. So it, if the person behind me is like sound asleep or little or small, I'll lean back. But the, it sucks to watch the TV with the seat all the way lean back. I hate when people lean back, so I don't mind being upright. You know, I don't want to break up the party, but we tend to be in first class these days, so there's a little more room. So I don't mind moving back as much. But in like the coach horse, I would never move back. Never. No. That two inches really goes a long it, way. It's tough. Uh, and sometimes you get that guy who's like aggressively hitting. And you, yeah. like, you just put your hot coffee down. Yeah, that's tough. You get the guy who's like, mm, mm, yeah. And you're just like, Jesus Christ. You I know? know. Now the coffee's spilling. Yeah. And I'm bothered by the person that leans back. But I don't hate that. It's their right. So it's I'm just like, okay, yeah, you do that. You can't be like this. You piece of shit. Especially right. on really long flights. Yeah, yeah. And Australia, it's a no-go. no, no go. 
you lean back. That's like fighting words. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, I, I didn't know that. And I leaned back, and the lady behind me went, excuse me, excuse me, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm leaning back. And she heard my accent. She was like, we don't do that here. And I was like, oh, and I fucking put that thing right back up. Wow. wow. Yeah, it was. I'm going there in November. I'm Don't nervous. lean back. Yeah. But I was in coach. Yeah. You can lean back in first you went class. To, you went coach. Well, Australia? we're bouncing around Australia, so it's like from Perth to Sydney. It was uh, like a two-hour flight or whatever. Oh, okay. You didn't go. You definitely didn't go coach the long way. I went coach on the way back. What? Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Why'd you do that? Didn't that's all that was available. That? Oh, huh? That's I booked all? it too late. Oh Jesus! I sucked it up. But the, the way there, I had to lie down, so I, I had it pretty sitting pretty on the way up, and death on the way back. It's a long fucking flight. It's, it's very like long. 11 hours of your life, and you save probably three grand. That's, I mean, that's, that's three grand good. you could spend on steak dinners or TWA parties or whatever. Pretty good. Yeah. You know how you're always buying steak dinners? <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried, but we went to a deli. <laughs> but let me say this. We went on, a, me and a bunch of comics were on a gig. All the flights got canceled, and they said, we got you new flights, but there's no first class. And... A couple of people said, I'll wait. And they waited a full day. I talked to one of those people. Uh, okay. I don't, wanna, call. Yeah. I don't want to give it away. But I, giving up a whole day in the in some weird town, I, I I think it's better just do the five hours of uncomfort. Well, long if flight. you're very, very funny and fat and jolly and have long hair, it's probably nice to wait yeah. a whole day. And single. Yeah. <laughs> and Greek. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was Giannis. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was interesting. It was a whole day. It's no, it's a, it's a, a real Sophie's day. choice. Do I want a day in what was it, Seattle? Yeah, like outskirts of Seattle. In a, outskirts is rough. In a weird little downtown town. Seattle is cool. You got that farmers market. I, I have the complete reverse opinion. Really, yeah, downtown Seattle is a complete nightmare. It's the scariest place on earth. The farmers Outside market is Seattle killer. Is They're throwing the fish. I love that. Oh yeah, yeah. The pike, oh, pike yeah, place. Pike. Yeah, yeah. That's great. But yeah. there's a lot of riff raffy sure. insanity down there. Oh yeah. But you go to like West Seattle, Gig Harbor, spectacular. I'm a city hick, man. I like the downtown. But yeah, I, I invented that term. Uh, who did? I did. You invented it? Yes, on that trip. Really? Is I that thought right? you knew this? What are you kidding? I you thought think, that was a oh, term. Oh, we're not getting credit. Is that not a term? Look up. I've never heard it. Google, Google it, city it hick. I came up with it on that tur- on that trip when oh, we when we were in Vancouver. It. No, not Vancouver. When we went to fucking wherever, you told me you couldn't drive. <laughs> Literally, you said I'm only good at turns. It's in the, no, I said I'm not good at turns. It's in the Urban yeah. Dictionary already. Uh, I came from me. It stemmed. Give me a year. Give me a name. 2006. Oh, all right. Only. What was that gig? 08? Oh, You're right there. Right, right after. No, it was a while later. Sid Hicks can often be found home drinking alone or listening to George Thurgood. <laughs> wow, they nailed you, you, buddy. <laughs> what? They got you, funny. I guess I'm a Sid Hick. <laughs> George, George Thurgood. Thurgood. <laughs> What's his hit? Who do you love? <laughs> Okay. Man, 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 man. Bad to the bone. <laughs> With a I'm, bottle of whiskey. Second that. <laughs> I'm willing to admit somebody was saying this before, but I, I didn't read this goddamn thing. Can play a little we, Who we Do You to... Love? Hold on. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, a jellyfish? No, these are, these are fake boobies, plan. dude. Oh, nice. Throw them one. Let them play with it. I've played with one before. There you go. I don't care for this. Are we allowed to use any of this? Oh, that would be... Oh, Hey. <laughs> oh, come on. We got to be able to get that in. A good voice. We're just like, man, this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> well, since we can't use it, we can't use this either. So there you go. I drink alone. I prefer to be by myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are good rules. Can you um, pull up this Lizzo story? Because this is like, she's in deep shit, right? I heard she was fat shaming, which is fun. <laughs> got it. Today's episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. It's hard to remember to drink water. So hard, in fact, that there's a whole side of TikTok where people are showing off their weird water concoctions where they mix in syrups and sugar so it tastes good enough to drink. Get off water talk and get into Liquid IV. It's actually good for you and tastes delicious. It's the number one powdered hydration brand in all of America, and it's available now sugar-free. That's big. With uh, oh, yeah. awesome flavors like white peach, lemon lime, and green grape. You can mix it up every day of the week. I like all the flavors. I, I like the lemon lime. I'm an old school Gatorade guy. so I like the watermelon and the pina colada for me. Just yeah. to mix it up. 
Getting your daily dose of water has never been easier. Just mix in one stick of liquid IV with 16 ounces of water and drink up. Hydrates you two times faster than water alone and has three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks. So even if you've been on a bender, you can bounce back in time for work on Monday. Real people, real flavor, real hydration, now sugar-free. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get... Costco, not Costco, and get 20% off where you go to liquidiv.com and use code DRUNK at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you use promo code DRUNK at liquidiv.com. Nice. All right. Hey, hey, folks, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Tushy. If you've got spicy poops, fight the fire with Hello Tushy. The Hello Tushy bidet cleans your bum with a fresh stream of water that is two times better than wiping and prevents poo particles from spreading to your hands and everything you touch. It attaches to your existing toilet, requires no electricity or additional plumbing, and cuts toilet paper use by 80%. Wow. This could save the world. Hello Tushy bidet pays for itself in under a year. Instead of suffering even more and wiping your spicy ass... And poops with stiff toilet paper. Make the switch and start living your best bidet life. I love a bidet. I'm hooked. It feels good. And it does a good job. I'm married. So you want that b-hole really fresh just in case something pops off. Also, I mean, you just, I'm on the road. I'm bummed to not have a bidet. I, I want primitive. the water in my asshole. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting on the toilet in the fucking hotel chain. Like, I'm supposed to take care of this? Right. It's insane. Right. You can't go back? No. We have it too good. Also, you ever uh, doggy style plowing the lady on your knees and you feel your cheeks spread apart like fucking grilled cheese sandwich? <laughs> it's not pretty. Get that out of there. <laughs> With over 100,000 five-star reviews, see why millions of real pooping humans already love the Hello Tushy Bidet, too. Every Hello Tushy Bidet attachment comes with a 30-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. Stop wiping and start washing. Go to hellotushy.com forward slash drunk and use promo code drunk for 10% off your first order. That's hellotushy.com slash drunk for 10% off. It's already cheap and you get a deal. HelloTushy.com slash drunk. Snagging tickets to see your favorite artist in concert shouldn't require you to have to call in sick to work so you can't stalk the ticketing line. Save your energy and stop the stress with Game Time. Game Time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, theater, and comedy yeah. near you. Their app lets you find flash deals and last-minute tickets, view images of the seats you're looking to buy, and they have the lowest price guarantee. That means if you find tickets in the same section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 100%, 110% of the difference. That's a lot of, that's a lot of cheddar right there. Oh yeah. Game Time's, I mean, it's great, guys. You got to get on this. Uh, use your, uh, use your Game Time now. Your tickets are sent directly to your phone. Woo! So you never have to hunt around your email inbox again. I always hate the hunting. Hate the hunt. Uh, snag the tickets without stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code DRUNK for $20 off your first purchase. Nice. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code DRUNK for $20 off. That means it's only like $980 a bleacher <laughs> seat for Taylor Swift. Uh. Download Game Time today. Last minute ticket, lowest price, guaranteed. Here, here. Here, yeah, it's true. Yeah, we'll pull up the article. Oh, shit. You know, she's vegan. Is she? Yeah. Fun fact. That, that can't show. be true. Look it no, up. Well, think about vegan. This is the thing about vegan. People Hitler. think of vegans as thin. You can eat french fries all day long. Mm. Like chocolate. Well, not chocolate, but whatever. Candy. You can eat fucking... Sweet uh, tarts. Yeah. Pop tarts and sweet tarts and french fries and... Yep. Hitler was a vegan. Hitler really? was a vegan? Mm -hmm. Come on. That can't yeah, be true. That's true. Ah, oh. not, not a smoker. Wow. Woody Allen, I think, vegan. Oh. Oh. Look at these tits. At least in the movies he is. All right, yeah. so uh, Lizzo has been sued by three former dancers who claim they were subjected to a hostile work environment and harassment. I know how it feels. While they were members <laughs> of the Grammy uh, winner's dance team. The complaint filed in Los Angeles Superior Court Tuesday and obtained by CNN through attorneys, da-da-da. I'll just sum it up. So she uh, went to a, um, a, a sex club in Amsterdam where they like perform sex acts. Oh, and she okay. Sort of, no, but she forced, forced. She pressured her 
dancers into doing stuff like eating a badan- banana out of a snatch. Nice. Ah. Well, yeah. were any of them cramping up on stage after that? Because that sounds like, <laughs> the you know, could help. Yeah. You know, Ellen's loving this. She's like, thank God I never touched a banana. I threw a couple cups of coffee on an intern, but no banana in the clam. Is she an actual shit for this, or is this just going to blow over? Well, it's a lawsuit, so she's going to have oh. to Three. be deposed. Three different people. Uh, another plaintiff claims that her uh, commitment to her role as a dance team was questioned by the singer, who expressed thinly veiled concerns about the plaintiff's weight gain. Ooh. So she's fat shaming other Well, dancers. she probably only wants to be the only porker out there. You <laughs> well, can't have another... Is that she's a legal the term? Lady. Well, you know what I mean. She you don't want another chubette on the, on the dance team. You're not making it better. But also, okay. let's keep it like before we jump to all this. Great, we're reading a, a summation on CNN.com. This course. totally could have been her being like, oh, you got a, you got a little whatever. Oh, ah. But right. it seems like a lot of people all at once. It's not like one person got fired and then they're turning on them. This is, this is multiple people coming forward. Sure. Well, I'm not saying she's not a nightmare. I don't know this woman from, from Adam. But, you don't, uh, I mean, look, it's, if you're a dancer and she's like pressuring you to go to a club you don't want to go to. You know, and you're like, but I feel like she's going to kick me off the tour or something. I don't know. That could suck. Well, yeah. maybe they feel bad. They feel obligated. Like, I don't want everyone yes. mad at me. So I got to go to this pool by the airport. Oh. You know, you got to, you just have to do it. <laughs> I appreciate eating that banana. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think, I think if you're this big, it's like Ellen, you're huge. You have a ton of staff and you start to kind of make demands and uh, uh, eventually they retaliate. Yeah. Like Sam. <laughs> So, yeah, that's tough, man. Yeah. yeah. And it's not when she goes, hey, you're getting fat there, dancer. The dancer can't go, look who's talking because, you know, she's uh, she's the boss. Yeah. Position of power. But she has. you were saying she has fat dancers, weren't you? No, I'm saying she wants to be the only da- fat lady on the stage. Oh, really? That's my theory. Oh, she does have fat oh, black well, well. dancers. We heard what you said first. Yeah, that was a real <laughs> Freudian slip there. <laughs> what, what did you say? Well, let we me have see fat some black, of these dancers. <laughs> fat back up. He corrected. Oh, oh. Back to black. Oh, I didn't know that was a mistake. Damn. <laughs> All right, wait. Pull up some of the other uh, biggins back there. Oh, okay. Wow, good for her sharing the stage with they, other... They do not look like they eat primarily bananas. <laughs> <laughs> no. Also, this crew with the stage reinforcement. We got to give them a shout out. I mean, this is... Uh, it's a lot of beams. Looks like the Royal Rumble out there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Woo! Yeah, that is a heavy stage. Wow! They have to take separate elevators down to the <laughs> stage. I think. <laughs> Woo, I don't know, Lizzo. Uh, she sings. She's a singy person. She's good. Yeah. Her songs are pretty good. Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, I love her. Good. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Very talented. <laughs> she's a flautist. What's that? She's she eats a lot of flautas. No, um, <laughs> flout. She flutes. A flutist? No, it's actually flautist. Flautist? Thank you. Ari ter- put me I on. Thought that was a disease. Put her on our radar. Ari years ago was like, I saw this woman at a music fest, and you know she's amazing, and it was Lizzo. All <laughs> right, cut that. <laughs> Definitely cut that. <laughs> cut that. She'll fucking sit on me. Um, Boy, there's gonna be so many odd cuts in this. Episode. I know. I gotta stop playing with this tit. It's uh, it's, it's hard to not play with, right? It. Yeah. You know who you know who sent us this tit? Matt uh, Trey Parker from South Park's wife. Wow. Yeah, she's a surgeon. Got it. Got it. Women can't be surgeons. This is dynamite, this cocktail. Very good. He's a pro. Nice. All right. Wow, Lizzo. That's uh, it's going to get ugly. Are there any other... Uh, are, are you guys big Pee Wee Herman fans? Oh, I love Pee Wee. I loved that movie when I was a kid. I was terrified of it, but mm. um, I liked the show. But I was a little young for peewee like my my sister my uncle dale they were like so into it i watched the movie a lot i was afraid of uh was it big bertha yeah large marge large marge yeah i always call it big bertha i was always terrified but i always remembered the tequila scene but i have to be perfectly honest when i was a kid i didn't totally get it yeah i was like i thought he talked weird but i watched it a lot but i wasn't huge into it i think i was the thing that shocked me i thought he was like Gen X. He was seventy years old. Don't you think of him as being more like good. late fifties? Like kid, you know. I mean, it's hard to tell his age here. And the yeah. show was out in the early eighties. So yeah, I, he's pretty old. He's also in Blues Brothers, by the way. Oh yeah, Which, he's in a great episode to of Thirty Rock too. He's like he did a ton of. He's in Blow. He's great in Blow. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Derek for real. It's also weird to think back on. There he is. How much the little girl? I want to buy your women. <laughs> it's hard to think, like look back on that. He just lived in that character. Like, he's just a comedian who just stayed in character. It's like Dice. 
For years. Yeah. Or uh, Theo. But so much more oh. of a character than Dice. Yeah, yeah. But he nailed... I used to love the show, Pee-wee's Playhouse. That show was wild. It, there was nothing like it. It was so original and weird. So we're glossing over the controversy of him getting caught in a... In a porn theater. Well, Ron has got the great off. bit about great this. Great bit, you which know? he reposted. Ron on Hirschberg is a bit being like, we, we got mad at him for doing what you're supposed to oh. do in an adult movie theater. Well, I mean, that good. was that's yeah. a bit... But uh, yeah. I believe Fred Willard too. Yeah, who had my favorite tweet of all time? What did he do? Fred Willard, who's like the funniest person ever. We got to meet him. Yeah, cool guy in uh, Omaha. He got caught masturbating in a theater, and then the next day he just tweeted, "Merry Christmas." <laughs> <laughs> so perfect. Damn. So perfectly uh, stated. But yeah, Pee Wee got yeah. He jerked off. Whatever. That was a huge controversy back huge. then. That was massive. But is, what what was. Was it because he was a kid star? Or what, I mean, what is it? That's what it was. was. The kid yeah. star. It's like when Ellen is mean, she's supposed to be this nice, dancey lady. So when they go the other way, that's when they get Yeah, I guess like, if Barney the Purple Dinosaur was rubbing one out next oh, to you in a seat. Exactly. Even if you were rubbing one out, you'd be like, fucking Barney. Yeah, that's a big yeah. eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of purple. But yeah. I thought everybody jerked off in a porn theater. Also, why are you going to a porn theater? It was a long time ago. I think it was the 90s. It was pre-internet. Yeah, yeah. it was hard oh, okay. to see porn. Yeah, that's where you went. But if I, I had VHS in the 90s. I don't know. If I was a celebrity, I'm not going to a porn theater. That's all I'm saying. Maybe there's a thrill to it. That's probably what it is. It's got to be some of that. Because we had those orange tapes or a blue tape. Remember, they were always colored. How did he get busted? Tape like who, who busted him? Yeah, I don't understand. Probably a sting, I guess, like. A st- well, Sting was there? A, I remember one of the What joke- a terrible cop to be. <laughs> Everybody know, move right? in. Uh, He's whacking it. Uh, go fast before he finishes. <laughs> one of the jokes I remember from being a kid was, what's his favorite baseball team? The Expos. Ah. Mm. And I remember not really thinking it was a great joke, but yeah. when you're a kid, you hear a joke. You're like, great, I have a joke to tell. Yes. Yeah. You yes. tell any joke. We walk around telling jokes. You got any good, you got any good jokes? That yeah. That was a thing that dude said. Yeah. No one tells jokes anymore. No, my dad would always have one locked and loaded. Well, this was huge. Yeah, so 91 it happened. Heard so any good jokes I was, lately. I was Look nine. Perfect. Well, this is his first thing appearance after the jerk-off thing. Oh, it happened in 1990? 91. Wow. wow. I thought it was like 98. No. Because he was kind of at... Uh-oh. Was it really in 1991? Yeah, because this was shortly after. It was, like, oh, it was almost back. like the Hugh Grant Tonight Show. Right. It was in the, heart of the, the height of it. That saved the Tonight Show. It brought it to number one. Yeah. This is his first appearance back from that. They love him. Oh, this is the Arsenio hoo-hoo-hoo. Uh, oh, wow, the Music Awards, which is actually used to be a thing. Now no one gives a it shit. It was huge. A huge. I mean, what an ovation. This must have felt great. Almost as good oh. as coming. <laughs> <laughs> this brings me back. I love Pee Wee. Yeah. I was him for Halloween a couple times. Thank you very much. Oh, that's poor guy. Pee Wee. I feel Pee-wee. like he must. Pee-wee. It's hard to. He must get emotional, but he's in character. He also probably was like, "Let me just get my dumb joke out." <laughs> It's like a mosh pit down there. Paul Rubens. Heard any good jokes lately? <laughs> I gotta say, the applause fucked up his thing. Totally, it, totally. Like, really ruined his timing. Also fucked up the show. Now, do Our you show. guys, this is, this is gonna get a little deep and maybe cheesy, but I, I'm so jealous of these guys, like a, like a Paul Rubens or even Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler can be like, doo-ba-doo, doo-ba-doo, or, or uh, Jim Carrey can just go all in i can't do that i don't have the vulnerability i'm not comedy. strong enough yeah comedy that's as far as i can yeah. go i just say the profession i'm doing <laughs> yeah but like i could never be that vulnerable well, the physical Ooh. comedians and you're and you're a stand-up more you know i, mean, I guess i just hear my friends going what are you doing what the hell is this stop acting weird i, I don't know whenever i, I see I, someone like nick vader out back in yes! the day, like an open mic and he would just go ball Five people in the crowd. He'd be doing this crazy act out. I was like, that is fucking brave. Brave. Like, people throw the word brave around in comedy around, but I'm like, that's fucking brave. Yes. To to give it all out. God, that around is so goddamn funny. No, we talked about this recently, I think, on Tuesdays about, like, when I first started, like, I loved Jim Carrey, and I liked high-energy acts, and I loved Dane and stuff, but, like, you couldn't, it was too much to bomb. Like yes, doing a handstand, yes. like d- jumping around as like a T Rex and doing backflips. If you're just eating it, you're like, I've ever seen Joe Para a couple times at the Carolines, 
which is so not funny. the venue for him. No, no. He's no. such an all that. But I remember him being literally shirtless, sitting on the ground, pretending to row. I don't even know what the bit was. Wow. But he's like shirtless rowing. And it's just a bunch of like wealthy people in Manhattan eating steaks yes. and chicken parms or yes. Jewish delis and just staring at him like, what is this? I know, but he committed. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine? I mean, that, I remember Caroline's just the fucking smell of the food while you're bombing. Yeah. I have to bomb <laughs> and smell a fucking sirloin. So well, true. The thing about Caroline's too is was set up in a way where the stage was like over so if you ordered a meal the tables were in a way they'd be eating like this and the, you're performing like back yes, here yes yes so they're literally cutting steak like this like looking over their shoulder and you're like i'm just a goner i yeah. know caroline's I, was a great room for a period for all of us yeah. but I, I remember like for a period i get every hot weekend opening for these you know Guys who were crushing at the Jim time. Jim Jeffries, Dave Attell, Artie Lang, like, J.B. Smooth. Fun, yeah. fun weeks we all had. But, you know, I remember uh, as the club was kind of going down a little bit in quality, they, they stopped hiring security. Yep. I remember this guy would not stop. Scary dude heckling me. And I was like, is anyone going to throw this fucking guy out? He was like a scary guy. And I remember watching some tiny white guy who was the security guard walk over to him and whisper. And the guy just went like this. No, no. And he just walked out like, like sorry. And I'm like, oh, shit. All right. I was so cocky about it. I'm like, they'll get rid of him. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, I can't. He's too scary. Wow. One of the managers there was stealing money for years. Really? Yeah. 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 With the bar oh, yeah. Yeah, I really yeah. liked the guy, too. Great guy. <laughs> Always really nice. And it turned out he was just And the bartender there was stealing, too. No kidding. Really? We, we yeah. all, it was, this was a lot. This was probably like 13, 14 years ago. Pull and we up. all liked the guy. Wow. By the way, that was the best Christmas party Oh, ever. the food was like top notch. There was MMA happening there. <laughs> so Rich well, Boss. Yeah, we told yeah. this story on the pod many times. I mean, the yeah. Rich Boss kick. Yeah. Oh, yeah I was yeah. involved. I was there. I was holding Rich's arms. Whoa. Can you tell it? Because we've heard it from them many times. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel bad if you've already heard the story a bunch of times. But basically, uh, Jason Canner was busting Rich's balls. And then Canner came over and was I was hammered, ripping up the dance floor. And then Canner was like, yeah, man, uh, Voss is pissed at me. He's screaming at me. And I was like, why is he screaming at you? And he's like, well, I made a joke about his kid. And then <laughs> Voss was like, you're still talking shit? And I was like, what? And then he comes over. He goes, you fucking still talking shit? And Canner had a cocktail like this. And he like slapped it out of him, hit me, exploded all over my tits. And I was like, oh, my God. And I grabbed Rich. I kept saying he thinks he's being funny. He's being funny. And I had him like by the arms yeah. like this. And because I had his arms, he just like mule kicked Canner in the ribs. <laughs> They kicked Canner out, ironically. Well, uh, Voss had a more juice at the time. Absolutely. And uh, broke, broke two of his ribs. Yeah. Wow. And uh, the, the funniest part to me was later I was talking to Quinn and I was like, yeah, he was fucking pointing his face at I'm going to fuck your kid. And I was like, no, no, he wasn't. That's insane. So I called Canner and I'm like, you got to like put out some fires here. Like Colin Quinn thinks you were pointing in his face. And I'm going to fuck your kid. And Cannon was like, no, I did. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Well, he owned oh, up Jesus. to it. But, You're lucky you only had two broken ribs after that yeah. shit. But Rich is such a sweet guy. They're both great guys. I mean, Cannon's maybe my best friend ever. But um, Rich was just worried about getting sued, and he felt terrible. So they worked it out. They're quite friendly now. It's all good. But, That's uh, nice. Yeah, but I think... Uh, you know, I think Bonnie was upset. By much. She's like, you should not be talking with this kid. And because Bonnie was upset, it got rich, right, right. cranked up. Well, as as horrible as it is to break ribs and mule kick somebody, I still think that is better than, like, online shit. Just fucking someone up online. I think it's better to get it out. Oh, yeah, of course. You I'm, know, I've, I've been tuned up at the cellar a few times, and uh, I still prefer that. Right. If you say something fucked up, I yeah. remember your guy, yeah, you called me after that guy yeah. was choking you. <laughs> yes. At the cellar. And, you know, you're all hopped up like, holy shit, that was crazy, but that's still better. I, I We worked it out. You so, know? You, so we won't say who it was, but there was a guy on stage. Yeah. And Josh Gondelman. <laughs> 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 but he was a guy on stage running the light. Yeah. It's a late show. You're getting annoyed. You shit on him on stage. Yeah. It's hitting. You get off stage, he greets you with like a high five, and yeah. then pulls you in and starts choking you. Yeah, yeah, basically. And and stat, he's a strong guy. Yes, and I didn't see it coming. It was all like uh, out of my, I, I had no idea. Then you said you were gonna fuck his kid. Yes, and then yes. Um, no, then you <laughs> you. Uh, but he had he was. It, how long did it take you guys to be good after that? Uh, 
uh, well, you know, it probably I don't know six months, but we we never saw each other. We just kept you know we just kept uh, passing in the night, and then one day it was just like, fuck it, let's just talk, and it was totally fine. And I'm all you know, I'm not gonna sue anybody or anything. I hate all that shit. Yeah, let's just work it out like adults. Yeah. We can work it out. There you go, the mule kick. Oh, I remember when I was doing the the shit talking on stage. Godfrey was on the floor. Slapping the floor, going, ah, you, you fucked up. You gonna, you fucking up, man. Like he was like trying to warn me, like you're done. You're, he's gonna kill you. And I thought, I, I thought I was killing with Godfrey. I was all like, hey, I'll keep it going. As you were getting your ass kicked, he was commentating it as Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about talking shit. Uh, <laughs> woo. Good times. Any? Do you guys have any so bits exciting. or anything? This is so good. By the way, bits. Dude, dude. let me see. By the way, I got a bone to pick with you, Rubes. That Anne Frank joke I ran on you, you guys, uh, I think you hated it. It's killing. Oh, okay. Killing! Well, I apologize. <laughs> nah, all right. Had to I, I don't ever want to dissuade you from pursuing a bit. No, no, I, I still did it. Dissuade mm. and pursue. Pers, pers, what did you say? That was two good words, back to oh. back. All right. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, look at the big brain on Sam. Oh. Oh. Uh, Hawaiian burger. What about this? Is this funny? <sighs> I've done it a few times and it works, so don't tell me it's not. But have you heard it? I was taking a shit at uh, Starbucks recently. It's a whole, the whole thing there. But they had like motion detector lights, so the lights went off. So now oh. I'm shitting like this. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing, uh, That's and, already uh, great. It happened a few times. Like it, it kept turning off. <laughs> Does it help the flow of the shit to to wait? Um, it feels like it would be more conducive to get it out of you. Yeah, well, you're, then like, it, you're like the queen. You're doing one of these while I'm taking a dump. <laughs> well, then it's awkward too because then I gotta come out of a public restroom with my flashlight on. So it looks like I was inspecting my asshole or whatever. Oh yeah, checking for warts. Yeah, there you go. That's that's a uh, that's a great act out. Great act out yeah it's fun i got a pee for stool. you actually just triggered a peeve actually which is right before this i go in that they have there's that one bathroom right it's just one toilet i go in there it smells like fucking trash it's like someone went to town on it oh yeah like trash I, trash or shit no shit it's okay bad as hell I just take a piss in there. I walk out. There's a person waiting. Ah, oh, that's a classic. Long, the yeah. wrongfully accused moment. Classic. I'm Harrison Ford in The Fugitive. I had that on a plane once. I was like, oh, I was pissing. And then I came out and a lady was right there. And I was like, ah, I pissed. <laughs> it's a weird thing about the ego because even though you don't know whoever's waiting, you feel the need to tell them, I don't smell like that. Yeah. Right. That right. wasn't me. <laughs> yes. That's why I pee on the seat. I did that. Oh. Not the shitting. Right, right. <laughs> They can tell because it's your name. Yeah, the initials. there you go, like Snow. Okay, so that's I like that act. I think that's a hilarious act. Great, act, yeah, oh. and very relatable. Yeah. Did did it come on? Yeah, yeah, it okay. came on, and uh, you got it. Yeah, it's happened a couple times. How long does it take? I wonder how long it takes. We should look at how long it takes to go out because that's. Yeah, cause how well, long I think you can set it for different times. Right. I assume that's they probably do that to speed it up, so you don't linger in there right oh yeah i saw that happen to someone in a new building i guess they didn't set it right but i was just taking a piss at a urinal he's in the stall and as i'm washing my hands the lights go out and i guess the the, the lighting fixture wasn't in the right place and i couldn't turn it on and he just goes fuck uh, and, dark, and i'm like sorry dude and he goes i don't even have my phone on me oh, <laughs> and God, so you're just in the dark not well, knowing when he's done wife. Yeah, how do you know? Yeah. You, you got to see the paper. I've definitely done the dumb guy thing where, you know, you're in a bathroom. So there's a guy in the toilet and you just aren't thinking. And you like feel like you're at home. You just turn the light out by accident. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he's like, what the fuck? And you're like, sorry. <laughs> I got it. The best yeah. move is when you're in there with a buddy doing like battle shits. And then as you're, if you finish first, you leave. You go, hey, what time uh, are we heading out tomorrow? And then you shut the door and he's, <laughs> he's just talking. Uh, and you hope somebody else comes in. That's fun. <laughs> I told you the story when I worked at uh, Sears with my buddy Dave Stewart, great guy. We were doing shitting next to each other. We called it battle shits. And you're just uh, on break. He's shitting there. I'm shitting here. And this is really gross. Trigger warning. I wiped my ass, the first wipe, and I reached underneath and just stuck it yeah. to the side wall, and he immediately threw up. It was like this. It, was, it made like this noise, boom, and then just blah, and it just splattered everywhere. And we worked loss prevention, so it was his responsibility to clean up his own puke. But it was like a muddy <laughs> shit just stuck to the I side wall. That is fucking bam, incredible. Bam, bam. I'm Joe Liz. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just immediately threw up. Yeah, that's great. What, yeah, what will make you? Is there that anything that will make? make is there anything up. that would make you just puke? Other uh, puke is tough. Other people's shit is really 
a good whiff of shit. Yeah. Yeah. It gives me a gag. I'm not, I haven't just thrown up like that in a long time, but. Yeah, I don't know. What, what's a good throw up? Something's got to be pushing you in that direction already, too. Like, you don't feel well for another reason than that. You know, yeah, Ari can do some stuff. On a plane, I'll throw up. Uh, but I really? See, I have to see and hear someone else throwing up. I wow. saw it once coming out of a mouth into the bag. Like there was a an inch window from the bag to the mouth, and it was it was pretty horrific. Bright yellow projectile, chunky, brutal. Mm. Damn. You got to put the bag to mouth, folks. I had my first bidet experience. I never did one. They're bidet, great. Mate. What great. Did you say? I said bidet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. It was like I'm heated? a different guy now. Heated, yeah, heated. And you I, could, I got you, that set up. It's you could, nice. You could do like taint to back to front. It would like, and then it had the heater to dry you off. Yeah, it was like a car wash. The day is good, very good. I don't know if I should get one because it's too luxurious. I Why don't know is if I could it live luxurious? Like that. I mean, it's your home. You're getting a steam shower there. Why can't you get a bidet? It's your home where your wife sleeps, where your children come and play with the toys. It's <laughs> a good point, Godfather. Um, Part two. Someone, you're about to be a dad. Yes. Someone told me don't get the uh, the tissue warmer. There's like a thing you can get tissue warmer. Yeah, like the uh, the baby wipe warmer. Mm. So in the middle of the night, you wipe your kid's butt when they <laughs> they shit or piss, and it doesn't shock them to crying and waking up. Oh, there. that's oh, good. Uh, but then someone told me don't get it because it turns your kid into a little bitch. Ah. And like, they can never go. Well, that's it. inevitable. Interesting. Um, I put my baby wipes in the freezer just so my kid's strong. There you go. Toughen them up. Good yeah, call. well, the thing with baby stuff is anything online, everybody wants to tell you what's what, and everyone, it's brutal. All right, what about this for a bit? Mm. Probably won't work, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, my buddy has a, oh, wait, oh, no, my niece is uh, 14, and she's confiding in me. She, we're, like, pretty close. We, we text and talk on the phone, and she told me she's bulimic. I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> So she sent me a photo. Of my, I just wrote back, you look great. And then uh, she's, I was like, which one is bulimia again? Because I couldn't remember because there's so many of these eating disorders. And she said, uh, I eat a bunch of food and I throw it up before I digest it because I'm scared of you know, weight gain. I was like, what are you, crazy? She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, why would you do that? She's like, well, I want the, the taste. I want the fun part, but I don't want the weight gain. And I was trying to relate. So I said, it's kind of like the pulling out of eating. You know? <laughs> and... Uh, that's that part's hitting and then i say i need i need more so i'm saying like uh i was like hey if you do gain weight well you can you can just get lipo and suck it out and she's like well what are you gonna do if you forget to pull out and i go oh we can just suck it out you know that's like the abortion yeah yeah so I, it needs I thought work, it was going a different way i thought you, when you said the picture you look great i thought your your brother was gonna find the phone like what the fuck oh, <laughs> i thought that's, that's where it was going right but, right yeah huh Pulling out about other analogy. traumas in her life that you can share with us. <laughs> just turn that into a bit. Yeah, right. Exactly. She'll hear this and kill herself. But <laughs> I thought the bulimia to pulling out that part works. So I just need more. <laughs> but the hard thing is, it's the pulling out is different than bulimia because bulimia you do consume it, and then you throw up. Oh. Pulling out, you never come in them. It's almost like Hold on, let me run you this come in them and then they just my, uh, shoot out the shit. <laughs> my, my niece texts me she's suicidal and doesn't want me to tell anybody. Uh, let me try. <laughs> try look, I don't even have a niece, but I thought there was a... Uh, I thought there was a... I need yeah. to make it personal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're Believe it or not, I cracked this mystery from the top, but <laughs> we're very close. <laughs> no, but I, th I think the pulling out analogy is, is really good. Um, but don't you see my point? I see your point. The bulimic is you you do eat it, right. then throw it up. You right. have to come in the person, and then she she lets it drip out. It's, it's more like a, uh, what a do you call pie? that? Pie. A cream pie, yeah. A cream pie. That's the cream pie. Bulimia is the cream pie. But do people know about cream pie? Matt Not certainly so. does. <laughs> what about this kid? He's 11. You know what cream pie? Well, you got the internet. Okay. Yeah, an 11-year-old. You got to ask a 50-year-old. Right. I, Sam? Used to, I, I tried a bit. I tried a bit about it once, and it uh, it didn't do great. And part of it, I feel like, is because of that. Like people didn't know. Yeah. Ooh. Hit me. You flip it. You explain cream pie. Mm. That's sort of like the bulimia. Interesting. Because they don't know what cream pie is. So you know what your cream pie? It's my favorite porn. Whatever. That's when you come and then you shoot it back out of your pussy. Yeah. That's kind of like bulimia. Maybe. Right. I don't know. I'm right. spitballing. That's not bad. That way you can explain it. What about like a vasectomy and a lap band? 
Mm. Well, that were just two completely different <laughs> things. It's yeah. like being like, what about a school bus and an airplane? Yeah. <laughs> like, where are we going? You're tying up because you can't like, take it in. Oh, right. I get it. I get it. But you're losing the bulimia aspect. Yeah. That's the tank aspect. <laughs> <laughs> she's telling you she's bulimic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which I don't need. I just, But I like the comparison. But now you got cream pie in my head, and now I'm hard. We- <laughs> <laughs> bulimia pullout. Cause it is, but it is. I, I for me, I, as like a, uh, what do you like a sen- sensical thing? Like that, it doesn't quite add up sure, to me, sure, personally. Okay, because the pull out is totally different. That's like not putting the food in your mouth. That's like right. going to get it and throwing it on your face. Right, <laughs> right. There. Or but it's, I think it's, or the tips. point is it's it's incomplete. Like you didn't finish it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I guess so. Because she's saying before I digest. So I think maybe that's okay. The, before you digest, you right. pull out. Like before you get before pregnant, you come inside, yeah. you pull out. Hmm. Yeah, that it's tough because I, I feel like I got I got a comparison that's working. I just don't know where to go from here. Right. Okay. So this is the classic thing where you you bounce a joke that's already working, and I'm like, it's no good. Uh, <laughs> like, no, no, it's working. You're like, right. oh shit. I was scared to tell you. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, Spit that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Peters. Peters. Well okay. Yeah, that's that pretty good. makes more sense. We keep the cum. So it's a blowjob joke now. Yeah, that's kind of the spitting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just no? feel weird with her like, so I've been blowing these guys and I can't decide whether it's <laughs> no. not all it. She's bulimic still. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And then you're like, hey, my wife is bulimic. She doesn't swallow. She spits. I don't know. Something. Right, right. Yeah, that's interesting. Something. Or okay. let me let me let me. You don't finish it. The joke is you don't finish. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The joke is you you don't want the results. Yeah. Right. You don't want to get pregnant or gain. You're weight. getting the good part. You're getting the blowjob, right? Yeah, the food. What, right, the food. That's the food. You get well, the you delicious get the part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tasty dick. All right. What do you got? I had an idea about. Uh, I was reading the thing about Hitler about how he. Uh, Adolf. Yeah, Adolf. And uh, he Kirk was, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> he was into uh, you know incest porn and uh, sadomasochism, and and I was you know I kind of paused and I was like, you think you know a guy? <laughs> and uh, but he uh, yeah he was into incest porn and uh, getting peed on, and I was like, man, he Hitler liked to get pissed on, which is like that's so weird. But then you're also like, if anyone's gonna be into it, it should be Hitler. Like it would also be weird if he was just like you know I just I just cuddle you know right just, right funny. or like and then the next angle was like maybe this is a better angle was, I hope so <laughs> was uh you know he had an affair with his niece for like six years Hitler so uh, I want to do something about it. can you imagine being his mistress and like your friends are talking to you and they're just like Hitler doesn't respect you like he's nah. never gonna commit you know I don't know maybe there's nothing here right right. All right, we'll try. Let's let me try a different one, because this one's fucking. It's fucking hit last night. No, I like I like right. the the shitting and the pissing stuff. Like he's, you think you know a guy is a great line, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then uh, well, sometimes I'm, I'm just thinking too. Yes, no, yes. Like I'm not. It's not like I'm like sucks. I'm like trying. I'm doing math no, over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me try on. a different one. All right, all right. I think this. I think this stuff here. There's legs. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking here. Okay, hold on. Hitler's in the state of Damascus. He likes being peed on. It's just also weird to bring it up now. Like, like it's right. going to affect our view of Hitler. Mm. It, it's it's one of the things where you're like, he already did the worst thing. Yes, that's the angle. Like peeing we're, on a... We're trashing him more. We're piling yeah, on we're piling now on, yeah. to Hitler. Also, sometimes maybe there's something to this angle, an idea of like... Um, it's, are we just making some of this up because we're just so mad about Hitler? Right. Like, he's such an asshole that we're like, yeah, and, uh, you know, he fucked a rabbit or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Right. It feels yeah. like we're making like, shit up. You know, you could be like, uh, do we do that with other people? Like, you know, Bill Cosby, you know, serial rapist. But, uh, you know, he left the the top off the milk. You know, like we're right, just adding right. stuff later. You know, Cosby didn't post the black square. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, mm. I'm, I'm uh, fucking Manson. He didn't tip that right. guy. Yeah, I just fucked up. The, yeah, the, maybe the angle was like, man, it's really fucked up to tarnish this guy's legacy. After yeah, this, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, How about some respect for the dead? You know, I just thought about was uh, the old. I think it was Dana Gould had the bit about Charles Manson. He has to go to the uh, parole meeting every year with a big swastika carved <laughs> into his head. Yeah. He's like, guys, I'm better. <laughs> He's got a fucking uh, great That's bit. A, I'm better. Great comic. <laughs> I'm not crazy. It's really Ooh. funny. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's just weird that like, don't tell me about more Hitler shit if it's not worse than what he already did. Exactly. I think that's the angle. You know, you tell me about extra shit. I already hate the guy. Yeah, they, it's also just funny to keep digging shit up on Hitler. Like, who's still doing homework? Like, we gotta fucking get this guy. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't been enough. Like, oh, maybe that's Apple something. Research? The people that are still supporting Hitler, like, maybe this is gonna be the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. Right. I hate right. Jews, but, like, pervs? Ew. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. He liked pee on him. All this, right, I'm out. This pedophile was fucking young boys. Oh, I didn't know he was gay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Hey. 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 You're early. You're early. Hey. Sit down. Good to see Should you. we do other bits? You got anything else? Oh, jeez. Hold on. He's got one. Uh, I don't know. A lot of these, uh, some of these I'm nervous because they're they're working a bit. <laughs> and I don't want to just throw them out there. How about this? This is a, a story slash bit. I'm at a crowded breakfast place with uh, Monus, Luke yeah. Monus. Or maybe it was Matt Wayne, actually. Both great guys. We're in Columbus, Ohio. We're eating breakfast. It's a packed restaurant. This is eating. And then this woman yells out, attention, everybody. Attention. So right away, I already hate her. Yep. And then she goes, uh, my friend's about to walk in. She's a bride-to-be. Everybody just go crazy when she walks in. Oh, boy. And I'm eating eggs thinking, why don't you shut the fuck up? How's that sound? <laughs> right. And then she comes in, and immediately I just bail. I'm like, go, girl! I start clapping. I just immediately am clapping for her. And then the woman starts crying. Like, she's like, thank you. And I'm like, why are you emotional? We don't care. Right. Your friend just bullied us. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand like why you were moved that is funny. by strangers clapping for you. Yeah. Also, how many times do we need to go crazy for this woman? Won't they go crazy at the wedding? Exactly. Why are we clapping? Yeah. Anyways, those are the angles. And it's not impressive to me to get married. Well, that's the thing. Women think it is. They think it's like a big day and you're you're like the star for the day. So you're, this friend is adding to her stardom. Well, I hope right. neither of your wives listen to this podcast. But, uh... I've, 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 we've talked about it. <laughs> well, my wife is would be appalled. Like, if I was like, everyone clapped for Sarah when she yeah. walks in, she'd be like, I hate you and all these people. Well, it's of like course. singing happy birthday at the restaurant. It's It's... No one gives a shit. Right. Right. No one else gives a shit. Your immediate circle gives a shit. Yes. Yeah. The but, whole even, thing but even is they're fake. phoning it in. Yes. Even your friends are like, huh, boom, boom. no one else gives a shit. No. Right. We don't give a shit about the wedding either. That's fake too. It, it's all fake. I loved your wedding. Well, but you don't give a shit that I'm getting married. You're not like, no. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's I just true. wanted to hang out and dance. Yeah. It's a fun wedding. It's a good time. But yeah. You should get married. <laughs> For the wedding. We just want to go to a party. We can hang. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it at TWA. Yeah, let's do it there. <laughs> we'll, do it, uh, we'll do it at Newark. <laughs> Teterboro. Right. Anyways. This, this feels like it's working. Yeah, it works. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. Is there, but like, is there, I don't At the know. very least, yeah. the funny scenario. Just someone like trying to, you're, you're the hype man friend. You're just like, shut up. Yeah, I think shut up is like. Well, yeah, maybe there's an angle like this is why you pay the staff at the wedding to go crap. I'm I'm nobody. Right. Do do that with your shit. Well, that was the thing that was funny to me is the idea of getting emotional by that. <laughs> but you want to actually tell like stop crying. We don't care. Yeah, yeah. This is not real. It's just so weird to be like, oh my god, that's so nice. Yeah. But it is nice. Women are emotional or whatever. Yeah. But every night strangers clap for me. I don't get emotional. That could be something. Yeah. That'd be weird if you went on stage and started crying. <laughs> Yeah, look at the fucking Syracuse funny boat. I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, I, I think you got something there. There's something there. And yeah. it's already working. Yeah. Well, Somewhat. the shut up, get a laugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. That gets a laugh, and then... Uh, Believe me. All right. What do you, well, you got I one? I feel like I'm just eating it here. Uh, is, so did I. You hear my also. last joke? Jesus yeah, we're all dying oh, here. Don't bring it up again. <laughs> we, just lost, we just lost all our fucking fans from this episode. I'm too scared yeah. to try another one. Um, all right, I got one. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, I might have run this by you, but it, there's I'm something I'm sure you here. did. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, I was sleeping with a girl who I'm seeing, and while we're doing it, she we just started. She goes, let's see. This is her dirty talk. Let's see how quickly you can come. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I love this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like it's something you're enjoying. <laughs> right. If you're trying to get out of it immediately. Yeah. Right, like if right. I, if I if I'm like this movie's incredible, do you want to leave? Oh right, uh, right. yeah, something like that. She's like, can I we mean, watch it on fast forward? Yeah, yes. That's you, want to, you want to skip a few scenes? Yeah, yeah. right, right. Watch it on two X or whatever. Yeah, whenever yeah. a girl, whenever I was single, and I'd be banging a girl. She's like, "Come for me." I'm like, "You just want this to end." <laughs> Nobody wants you to come for them. That's what it feels like. It just feels like she's trying to speed it up. The person yeah. you should say that to is a rapist. 
It's right, right. That's, That's funny. True. Well, it's like the old thing you do with a kid. You're like, let's see who can clean up the room the fastest. Yeah. That was like a classic uh, thing. Let's let's yeah. clean up as fast as we can. I gotta stop fucking my mom. Yeah. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, maybe moms. that's funny. Yeah, but yeah, you could do a whole thing where she's like, we should have sex. You know, she's treating you like a little kid. Yeah. So maybe you could be like, well, let's just see who can stay quiet the longest. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's play the quiet kid. Yeah, after that's that great. we can play the quiet kid. I'm gonna do that yes. with their stories. Let's see how quickly you can finish this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then after you fuck, you're like, let's play hide and go seek. You never call her again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, now we got a bit. We got a bit. Yes. You see? We got past the. Audience. You're all right. You're yeah. all right. Yeah. Sally. Our, our parts are very funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. This is a quick, quick joke. Is this anything about how it's like cool to be gay now? Being like, it's trendy to be like gay or LGBTQ. And I'm like, boy, I would kill for that. When I was gay, I got beat up for being gay. And I'm not even gay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. That could be it's just yeah. a quick one. Yeah, it used to be like, you're gay. Like, let's kick his ass. And now it's like, you're gay. Like, you want to hang out? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And gay was an insult. Like, yeah. that, those shoes are fucking gay, you know? Right. And now it's like, it's like oh, you're, you're gay. It's like, uh, you're like, I knew it was in a good neighborhood. <laughs> you know, like right, that. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you want to hang out. Yeah. Except before it was like, you're gay. We're never hanging out, <laughs> you know? And that was me. Mm. I'm not even gay. <laughs> uh, I like the explaining part that you're not yeah. gay. That's my favorite part. Yeah, and I'm not even gay. But it's weird to get beat up. Like if you beat up, if you're like a racist guy and you beat up a black dude, he's black. At least, at least you were right. Yeah. Wait a minute. You oh. get what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying. That's, yeah. All right. I think I told you this one. Uh, true story. I lived in Harlem. I don't, I don't say that, but I went to my car. I have a car in the city. I went over to my car. And there was four black guys sitting on my car. <laughs> so I just didn't take the trip. That's I was like, funny. all right, well, you guys have been through a lot. Uh, See you later. <laughs> and I got to call my mother. I'm like, something came up. Right, uh, right. And then my friend was like, you didn't say anything? I'm like, say anything? Even if I came home and there was four guys fucking my wife, I wouldn't say anything <laughs> other than I'm coming. Thank you, guys. Uh, Here's your money. That's great. Is that funny? That's I love funny, it. Yeah. All right. So the, something funny too, like the car is still there. You like you never got the car back after ten years or whatever this happened. Right, right. It's still sitting there. Yeah. You know your friends like, can I get a ride to the store? You're like, oh my car's in Harlem. No, I, it got stolen. <laughs> yeah. Really? Well, sort of. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a seated violation or whatever the hell that's called. <laughs> That's an absolutely true story. I just took the train. I was like, ah, I'll just take the subway. That's hilarious. Because I was like, really ah, God. too nervous. I That's get amazing. it. It sucks you never got thanked by those guys. Oh, maybe that's something. Yeah, like they could have been like, oh, we're a little comfortable. We appreciate it. Right. Hmm. Yeah. I like it. I love that you just don't want to bother them. <laughs> You're like, ah, it's a whole yeah. thing. I don't know. <laughs> and Because it, it is hard to be like, hey, fellas, scooch out of here. You it know? is weird. I was at a house party once, and uh, these guys were sitting on my car, and they were like tough guys. So I was like, I'll just start it up, and they'll probably get off. And I started it up, and they stayed on it, like as a goof. So I just kept going. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm at the, the stop sign, and they're on my car, and I'm like, I hit the wipers. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I hit the wipers. I hit the, the, the spray. It'd be great if Mark's like, I killed a guy yeah. one time. I, he wouldn't move. Uh, I'm Matthew Broder. Right. Dude, Tom McCaffrey used to have a great joke about that. Oh, do you really? remember that? About how he, uh, Tom, how Matthew Broderick and Jennifer Grey killed someone. And, and the angle was just, uh, I wish that was like my grandma, just so I could pressure them to hang out with me. Uh, Every time he's like, oh, oh you don't want to hang out? That's cool. I'll just call my grandpa. Oh, wait, I can't. Because uh, you and Matthew Broderick <laughs> murdered him. That's funny. <laughs> Supposedly it was Roadhead. That's the rumor. I heard the same. Really? Jennifer Grey was blowing him. Jennifer Grey. Yeah. That's why she got the nose job. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's a crazy story. All right. All right, well, yeah, let's plug gigs, Joe. What do you got coming? The special's out. One of the best comics in the yes. biz. Yeah, brand new special. Uh, third one in three years. Yeah, Prolific third. son of a bee here. Three years. You two. Ooh, Jesus. Don't pull up photos of me. My Good God. Good Lord, we're eating here. What are you doing? <laughs> By the way, believe it or not, I have a bit of a bellyache. I don't know if it was the green tea, the mocktail, or the two chocolate chip cookies, or the hot dog I ate in the street, <laughs> but uh, it's not good. ComedianJoeList.com. ComedianJoeList.com. Go to YouTube right now. You can watch the new special. It's called Enough for Everybody. It's very funny. It's free. Subscribe to the channel. I got a bunch of dates coming up. I don't know where I'm going to be. I don't know when this comes out, but I'll be at Nashville uh, Zanies in a couple weeks. Classic. And I haven't updated my website. I'm not good at 
the business. But um, yeah, the special is what matters. August 18th. It should be out now, I think. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's on YouTube. Go check it out. Tell yeah. a friend. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, please. share, comment, and up upvote. Give it yeah. a thumbs up. Please. It's very good. And I have another one from last year called This Year's Material. Yes. Also on there. All also very is funny. great. And he's got a, a Netflix thing. Joe's got so many great specials out. So watch all of them. And a hell of a podcast. One of the best. <laughs> uh, yeah. Got a... Uh, I don't know when this coming. Okay, yeah, Bethlehem, York, uh, <laughs> Toronto. That's gonna be a big one. So coming out of Chicago put a little theater, enthusiasm baby. into these plugs. Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, Chicago theater. I can't wait. Hey, Stand up live in Phoenix. One of my favorites. Uh, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Columbus, Cincinnati, Indianapolis. Uh, MSG Theater, the big one, November fourth. See you there. Ooh. And uh, and all over Australia. So I'll see you all over hey, the world. Hey, I, down away. Under. I was so offended by your lack of enthusiasm on my plug. Then you st- kept the same energy for yours. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm doing a big theater. I don't know. He's consistent. I said one of the best. I mean... <laughs> You're like, Focus I got to... Focus on the words, not I'm the... doing Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you okay? You sound like Ben Stein. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a pull. All right. Bueller. Uh, let's don't run see. anyone over. Bueller. Wait, okay. when's your special come out? August 18th. Okay, so we'll go after that. Uh, oh, I'm at the Taft Theater in Cleveland. Wow. And, uh, what is that? Uh, Gilio's in Springfield, Missouri. Holy hell, in Chesterfield, Missouri, which I've never heard of at the factory. I think that's just... A shoe factory. <laughs> then we're at, uh, what does that say? Uh, Norway. Oh, we're doing a, a fucking European run. Denmark, Norway, Copenhagen, Amsterdam. Denmark. Uh, that's Antwerp, in oh, Berlin, Berlin is fun. Dublin, London. Uh, never been. Birthdays are in, I'll be in Dublin for my birthday. That's fun. Ah, happy birthday, Dublin. London, Manchester, Glasgow, Birmingham, Glasgow, Hershey, PA, DC, Oklahoma, City, Dallas, Texas, Portland, Maine. All right, you you can go to the website marketomacomedy.com. Check out the uh, the Netflix special as well. It's still streaming. I hope they didn't take it down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, get get a get a bottle of Bodega Cat, you queefs. Bodega Cat whiskey at bodegacatwhiskey.com, baby. Uh, Beer juice. You're working on the book that's coming out soon. Coming out soon. We're gonna crack out a, a forward for you. Yeah, and if uh, if everything's going along to plan, it'll be shipping out in September. So check Woo! it out online and uh, keep an eye out for it. Hell yeah! I'll write a five word. And what do you got there, New Jack? I just want to name this episode before the Reddit queefs get to it. Mm. Let's go with Tuesdays with drunks. Hey, all right, nice. Somebody maced that guy. Uh, <laughs> I like that you really built that up. Like it was going to be a hot. Po- I well, came I up ch- with a crazy I- idea. I know, right? The most ready. obvious like, fucking name I ever. I feel like we might be gay is better. My father's Ooh. gay. Um, <laughs> by the way, that's like City Hick. There's going to be 300 people being like, I've been saying this for years, you fucking idiot. That was devastating, by the that way, the City Hick thing. Uh, <laughs> really upset. Uh, 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 well, we love you. Congrats on the special, Joe. Yeah, it really uh, shows by your face and uh, tone. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I love you guys. Right, well, I best. hate you too, motherfucker. Yeah, uh, I hate myself. Great special. <laughs> Check it out. YouTube. Free specials. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was anti-Sam. Wow. Yeah, do a split. Um, All right, well, thank you, folks. We'll see y'all in hell. Doesn't look like I remember her And I